Welcome to the channel everybody, thank you for clicking on this video. In today's video I'm going to show you just how easy it is to colour correct your Sony HLG video footage. Let's jump into it. Like I say in today's video, I'm going to be showing you just how easy it is to color correct your Sony HLG video footage. Now in a previous video, I showed you how to take your Sony footage up to the next level. Uh, but I've had a couple of people reach out saying, would I mind showing you them how to color correct their HLG footage? So that's what we're going to do right now. Okay then, so I'm going to be running you through exactly how I do this step by step as I do it. So if there's any mistakes, uh, you're going to get to see them. So apologies first off if I start swearing or do anything silly or make a mistake with my speech. Uh, hopefully I won't. But the first thing is we've loaded up three clips. We're going to be uh, correcting all these for starters. So the first one is a back garden where it's raining. The next one is walking through Chinatown in London. Let's make this a bit bigger. And the third one is another scene uh, with some bubbles and some people walking through. We're going to be correcting all these clips from HLG2. Right, the first thing you want to do is in your video editor, find either the histogram, which is this over here. Sometimes they're horizontal rather than vertical or a parade, which I prefer, which is this chart over here. Both of these work very similar. Basically, the bottom of at the chart represents our dark areas here, or blacks. The top of it represents our whites, and everything in between is a variation of that. So, seeing this image here, obviously we got white sky up here, or nearly white sky, so that's represented up the top here and anything black is represented at the bottom. What I'm going to do, I'm going to turn off the histogram and just use the parade. It works in the same ways. So our highlights, whites are at the top and our blacks are down the bottom. So let's make, turn off histogram and make this bigger. And that's what we're going to be using to correct our footage. Okay, let's start with this clip first. So what do we do? Well, first off, we're going to set the white balance. So we, on this image, we've got a white post there, so we can use that to correct our white exposure or white level. Easy as that. The next thing we're going to do is look at our exposure. We do not want the whites going above 100, really. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to turn down the exposure until there is... Uh, no bleed over 100 just like so and there we go so at minus 0.1 we're pretty good there next what we're going to do we're going to increase the contrast now what this is going to do is stretch all our colors if you keep a look on this chart over here as i move the contrast what it does it pulls all the colors from the bottom to the top and stretches them. And if you watch our image here, what it does, as they lower and rise, as you can see it increasing or decreasing our contrast. So what we're keeping an eye on here is making sure that our whites don't go above 100 and our blacks don't go below zero. So we move this to about there. It's just starting to touch the zero, which has our blacks, and it's just starting to touch the top of 100. So at 49, that's about right. Next thing you do is go to your whites, and you're just going to raise this up until you're touching 100. Watch what happens as I move this slider. You can see that our bright areas are being pulled up towards that 100 line. You don't want to go above it, really. So about there. Now, this is there's no right or wrong way of doing this. Ultimately, what you're doing is, even though we're using this uh, graph over here chart, we're keeping an eye on our image at the same time. Let me just show you as we move this about. Even though we're at the 100 mark, just touching it, 
I also keep an eye on the image, making sure that nothing's getting blown out or it looks naff. So we'll leave that there about 5.9 on the whites. And we're going to do the same with the blacks. We're going to bring these down until the blacks are hitting zero. So let's do that now. As you can see, as I move this out, dark areas in our image, obviously getting darker. And on our chart, we can see that being represented there as we touch zero. Now you want it just touching really, just like so. But what I like to do, and this is just, again, my personal taste, is I like to bring the blacks down until there's a nice about there, just so the the um, level is touching it more than the whites. It wouldn't blow it out, it just means that our blacks are more black, and that's the way I like it. The final thing we have to do is just change our saturation. Now, again, this is personal choice. Watch what happens to our chart and our image as I move the saturation up and down. So if we increase saturation, obviously our image gets very saturated, and if we turn it down, it goes black and white. So this, I like to change to 105, and that's just personal preference again. And there we go. So we've corrected this first video clip. And what we can do, we can see it after. Let's turn it off though, and you'll see it before. So there's it before, and there's it after. And let's play that along a bit. Perfectly corrected. Okay, then let's go on to our second clip. So we've done that first one. Let's go on to our second one. And it's exactly the same again. So what we're going to do, we're going to start with a white balance. We're going to select something that's white. Uh, let's see if we can. Now, if you're struggling to find uh, something that's white, you can zoom in and just move it until you see something that's white. There we go. We've fixed the white balance. Should there be any issues with it? Now again, we go to exposure, look at our graph. Now our whites are already hitting. That's almost perfect actually, but we'll just lower it just slightly, just so we're bringing it back. You don't want to be over uh, exposing the whites because you, you lose detail if you go too far past the 100. So we're just going to bring it back to minus two. Now again, we're going to increase the contrast to stretch all these colors. And watch how as we do that. Just making sure it doesn't go above or below 100 and 0. So I'm going to keep going to about 50 then. That looks good to me. Now we do the whites again. Now it's already just starting to touch, but we can just lift it up just slightly to about there. 8.1, and again, we're going to lower the blacks until they touch the line at the bottom, zero. So we'll just move it. Now, most people would leave it just touching there, but as I said in our last one, personal choice, I like to go a little bit darker on my blacks. And there we go. And then all we do, saturation, personal choice again, 105. And there we go. There's that video clip uh, corrected. There it is after, and there it is before. So before and after. Let's run that through and have a look, and I'll turn off before and after as it's playing. So there's that clip. So that's two clips corrected in the space of, you can do this literally in 10, 15 seconds, if you, once you get used to it, just using the, the chart, the image, and your parameters. Let's move on to the third clip now, and we're going to do exactly the same thing again. So we want to do our white balance first. Uh, what, is there anything in here that's white? So there's a boat to the left, I think. There we go. We can use that white to correct our white balance. Uh, make it fit again. Okay, so we're going to do exposure again. This time exposure is just about perfect. It's just touching 100 there. I might just lower it just by 0.1, just to make sure it's not hitting 100. 
We're going to increase our contrast, stretch in colors, making sure it doesn't go past uh, 100 or zero. So we're going to go to about 48 again. That looks good. Now the whites, we're just going to increase just slightly. They don't need much. Oh, I've gone a bit too far there. Bring them back a bit. So they're just touching 100 there. So 11.4. Image is looking good. Now we just need the blacks again, so let's lower that. And that would be normally fine for most people, but I like to increase it. my blacks or darken them to about there. That's how I, that looks good. Saturation again, 105 to personal taste. And there's that clip. So let's play that through and we'll turn it off and on. off on so there we go we've done three clips there corrected three clips and like i say once you get the knack of this you can literally correct a clip in 10 15 seconds so there you have it how to correct your hlg sony video footage i hope you've really enjoyed this video if you have give it a thumbs up if you want to see further videos from myself hit that subscribe button but for now that's it Thanks for watching guys, we'll catch up in the next video.